Well, that's that, folks. Uh, according to Twitter and the internet, uh, Starfield is going to be trash. It's going to be a bad game. Uh, there are some leaks that have come out. A lot of people have their review copies, or some leaks have begun to surface, and people are saying that the game is going to be bad. Um, you might be wondering, what are these leaks? What are people seeing that make you think that Starfield, one of the most anticipated games in a long time, is going to be trash? It's the start menu. The, the start menu right so one of the most anticipated games in a long time one of the biggest xbox ips probably since halo is going to be trash because of the start menu this is where we are people but we're going to dive right into it we're going to start this uh with uh grums we're, we're going to start this with grums right because a lot of this conversation that's happening on social media is because of grums now i'm asking yourself who in the hell is grum so i needed to know who grums was because this came all across my timeline. And I had to, I had to see for myself. Okay, so Grums, this is the official Twitter of Mark Kern. Who the hell is Mark Kern? We're gonna find out. He is the CEO and designer, former team lead for OG World of Warcraft, producer Diablo 2, Starcraft, and Chrono Trigger is best game. I guess that means that's his best game. But Grums has a pretty big following on social media. 95k 95.4k can leave out that 0.4 95.4k follow so a substantial amount of people follow him and like what he says and appreciates what he says okay but let's 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 dive into you know the start screen okay so he has a tweet here that that i want to i want to dive into okay he says the fizzy physiognomy of start screens all right the physiognomy of start screen it's a big word physiognomy Physiognomy. It's a big word. It's a big word. I pronounced it right. But, you know, we're going to jump right into it. So the star screen of a game can reveal a lot about how rushed the team was and how much pride they took in their work. Huh? Hmm. Okay, but let us move on. Starfield star screen either shows hasty shipping deadlines by a passionate team overworked or a team that didn't care. And, and this is the start, the, start, the start screen here, is space. This is what I've seen a lot of games doing. The start menu is irrelevant. There does need to be a million things happening on the start menu, right? New, low settings, photo gallery, crew, quit. There's some information here that may or may not be randomized. You got the Starfield logo, you got Bethesda down here, and you got a picture of outer space. This. What else do you need? Do you need, you know, somebody dancing, do, doing the shuffle, doing the hustle, and the star screen? What do you need? But let us move on, okay? Star screens are often done at the very end of development. Teams are too busy making the core game. It's quite common for star screens to completely change once the game is shipped or or on patch zero. Teams take pride. Teams that take pride to put good face towards it will often. Gonna make it back up, open it back up. We do these just prior to the game going live. The most common is an example, and he put some stuff out about Commander Connor, da da da. Um, but according to him, because this start screen isn't amazing, in his opinion, that means the developers kind of gave up, they quit, they're being lazy. But I want to see what the community thinks about this, right? Because there's some great examples. This man was getting ate up in the quote tweets, right? was getting eaten alive in the quote tweets while some people were saying oh yeah i agree with you that's because they're salty because this game isn't on a particular platform some people made them look stupid here's zelda simple was this game bad no nah. chrono trigger shout out to alex simple great game great game there's halo there's portal 2 great games Simple start screens. Somebody brought up Red Dead. Simple. Someone brought up this is what they this is what you wanted. You wanted all this unnecessary nonsense on the screen that we don't need. We don't need this. This isn't necessary. Absolutely not necessary. But if you see a lot of people with 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 common sense, some great content creators in here from Slow Mo. Uh, I saw I saw uh, RGT85 in here making this guy realize. This is this is a stupid take. Icy rhythms. This this is a very idiotic take. Here are some more games from Fallout, Skyrim, 
very 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 simple screens you do not need a lot going on here because it is a star screen the last of us considered one of the greatest games across multiple generations very simple start screen i've always believed this if you have a massive following you have an obligation to be honest you have an obligation to be real about things right now this could be a whole twitter blue thing or x blue thing that he's farming engagement so please i don't know if he has well I, he has a check mark so he, 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 may, he might be paying for it he might be in a creative program we don't know if he's in a creative program right but we don't 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 give him any extra pool you guys want to see it, you see it right here okay don't give him any more extra pool because this thing is already at 1.2 million views okay this could easily be hey i'm gonna say something stupid and i'm hoping that people uh, will come to my profile so I can make money, right? I, I just, I just want to be a troll. That could be what it is. Or it could be, because I've seen this guy a couple of times, simply, hey, this game isn't on PlayStation, so I'm going to instantly not like it. Because we got to be honest with ourselves here. Starfield would not get as much hate as it gets if it was still coming on PlayStation. Let's just call it a buck. Let's call it what it is. Gonna have so many screenshots from PlayStation influencers who are hyped and excited. Starfield on PS5. Even after Microsoft bought Bethesda, they were still hyped about Starfield coming on PlayStation, hoping that it would come. Then it was made official that it was not coming. A bunch of things like this began. All right. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Famous Hammer from LV1Gaming.com. You guys have a great one. Don't trip over star screens. And I'm out.